What's up guys, this is Ashnox, it's time for a showcase of Summer Break Charlotte in Wyvern 13. I use Alexa, good old Alexa, no specialty change, and I have good old Tarnor Guard, and I have Rose in the front. You could be using like Crozette, you could be free to play with th three heroes besides Summer Break Charlotte, which is of course limited. So you can see that I have her on Rage Set and Unity, crit damage 324%. Uh, yeah, it boosts the damage of, uh, well, or her damage when there's a debuff, right? Defense Break is there. Big, big damage. You're gonna see her damage is ridiculous. And she has Defense Break on skill 1. And also, uh, I mean, the Daydream Joker, dealing damage based on the uh, target's maximum health. And there's the Defense Break. And there's also the Rage Set, boosting the damage of all that stuff. So it really adds up and you're going to be seeing some pretty nice numbers. And I really love all these dual attacks that she's able to do throughout the battle. Now you can see that I turned off the um, auto feature for Tarnar Guard and for Alexa. This is not a safe run. It's These are runs that I take the boss down before the barrier phase. right? Since I have two defense breaker, it's working pretty well with my gear. Now, the gear that I have on Tarnar Guard is really not good. And uh, what I have on Alexa is like, okay, she's got a Rage set, but, you know, her damage is not that inflated. Now, the best gear is, of course, on uh, Summer Break Charlotte. Rose is able to survive. She has attack buff for the team. She pushes the combat. Yes, the Aureus allows my, you know, um, six-star heroes to actually survive a volley of attack from the boss because I don't drop two debuffs on him look at that almost 75,000 damage summer break charlotte guys uh you can definitely use her in pvp and in pve content ridiculous amount of damage that she's able to do all those door attacks that she's able to assist i mean that's potentially defense break if it's not there right so you have so many different chances to land defense break so you could have her with a bunch of other uh solid wyvern heroes but of course, if you want your run to be safer, if you're not able to take the boss down before barrier, maybe you're Tarnar Guard, you're Furious, instead of Tarnar Guard, uh, you're Alexa, they're five star, right? So they cannot take a volley of attack from the boss. Wyvern, so what you could do is just have your skill turned on. Now, if I was using, uh, yeah, Alexa, you should have her skill on so she can land poison debuffs so that's definitely gonna help you to reach that uh two debuff minimum so the boss actually attacks your frontliner and that's how you can survive you can see the fans break here from uh charlotte really helpful and you know her look at the, those skill ones like they hurt so bad so much damage and the skill three big big damage on that and uh you can see that through my runs, uh, the fans break is there for the majority of the time, which is really, really helpful. It's really great. Now, uh, you could be using the uh, Kill Guilty Gear Collaboration Limited Artifact, and that would give you a chance to burn with uh, Tarnar Guard on his skill number one. It's it's helpful to reach two debuff. You could be using Furious instead of Tarnar Guard, and to be honest, like that might be better because you're going to have a better success rate, you're gonna have actually you're gonna have a crit chance buff for your team so you can itemize accordingly the uptime is really good on that and you can have defense break from him you can have burn from him on skill uh, number one and you could have song of star artifact on furious which means you could have target debuff on the wyvern so that's another debuff more damage increase for your team so all that stuff help you to maintain two debuff on the boss or more so you can uh, keep getting your frontliner to be attacked which means the rest of your team is gonna be safe and that's definitely going to help you i mean uh with that amount of damage that you're able to do with uh, summer break charlotte making sure you got the fans break there making sure you got a rock solid frontliner and running sort of like a double damage dealer setup Right, because Alexa is a pure damage dealer, but she also has the poison debuffs, which speed up your run uh, if you are with like entry level type of gear, because it deals damage based on the target's maximum health. And also, you know, of course, it helps for um, having two debuffs on the boss. But yeah, her gear doesn't need to be that good. 
you need to make sure that uh, your defense breaker speed is going to be faster than Summer Break Charlotte. Look at that damage, man. Like, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous damage. And you don't need to have her on the rage set, guys, because uh, she could be wearing whatever you're using in PvP. Of course, this is a hero that you want to have effectiveness on because you got stun on skill 3, but most importantly, for PvE content, you've got the defense break on skill 1. And you... You see, like, she's attacking everyone when she's uh, assisting into a dual attack. So really helpful to potentially land multiple defense breaks, helping you clear the wave one or, you know, other pieces of PvE content. You want to just have as much, uh, you know, AoE, as much, you know, uh, chances to land defense break, really speeding up uh, your runs. Maybe you're going to be bringing her in a uh, raid. You, you bring her in a hell raid. I don't know how much morale she brings. I, I hope it's good. Let us know in the comment section if you actually knows. Uh, you know how much morale uh, she can give roughly what type of team you're running. And that'd be really good if you can actually get like upward of 40 morale with a team using her and using heroes that are actually, you know, pretty good. Maybe free to play heroes or just heroes that are just like good in general. Maybe uh, her plus other limited heroes. Now, it would be a solid team. And also, it'd be like heroes that are worth investing into. Not only for PvE content, but also for PvP content. And that's where you, you can put, you know, your resources to good use. When you can invest into a hero that is just going to be uh, overall just really good. And you're going to be able to bring that hero in a lot of different pieces of content. And uh, especially as a free-to-play player, you want to build heroes that you can use in multiple places, not a hero that's so specific that you can only bring in PvP versus two, three different heroes. That's just garbage for free-to-play, right? So you can see here the stats of my other heroes. You want to aim for 65 effectiveness. More than that is a waste. You, you need to counter the 80% effect resistance on the boss. Uh, there's 15% NH resist. So yeah, 65% effectiveness is what you want. You want uh, good speed on your defense breaker. You want him to go first. That's just the way to go. So you deal as much first damage after you land the defense break. If you land it, of course. I really like to use Furious, but I don't have him built. He's a four star. You need to have a few Mola invested in him. I think it's like seven, something like that. But you can check my other Wyvern videos i have guides a lot of information different team compositions i like to use rose because i can bring her in pvp as well as well as you know other pieces of content she's solid she's rock solid in the front and has a tag break so let us know what you guys think about summer break shots in the comment section that's it for this one i'm ashnox good luck with all you do peace out for now